everyone. It's Monday at the Mystical Magical Mansion, and I love projects. Do you love projects? I love projects. I'm a Sagittarius. I love ideas. I love inspiration. I love gathering things for projects. Great at beginnings, terrible at middles, and horrible at endings. So come see my latest project. Friday night, about 7.30, I'm gonna start this project this late in the day, which might be mildly insane, but I'm really excited to get going. So I have my stencil, the Royal Design stencil, which is the, what have I got? The Majestic Medina stencil, which is what we're gonna be using. It's this big monster of a stencil. I'm using this Let's see, which is Chalk Paste Kingdom Moss. It's from Redesign. I've never used this product before. It's really thick, so I'm excited to try this. But it's kind of a moss green. It does not look like baby poop in the dark, which my other color did. I was so dis disappointed. But So we're going to give this a whirl tonight. And I'm not affiliated with or don't have a, any kind of endorsement for this. I'm just going to give it a shot. Um, I have measured out my wall, found my center. I'm going to level up my stencil, and I'm going to get going. filming like every minute until you're done and that's what you're putting on the mystical magical this is going to be a 16 day video your arm's going to be huge like Popeyes when you're done live streaming anger stenciling is what it'll end up being okay first pass here we go let's see how this looks Oh, wow. That looks really good. Really, really good. It's 9.30. Yeah, 9.30. I have two, two stencil patterns up on the wall. Had to already wash my stencil once. So I'm coping with this. Cookies and milk. Hopefully tomorrow I get a little bit better run at this. Okay, this is day two. Started stenciling last night. You can see behind me. I got two runs of the stencil. The paint is super, super thick. It's called a paste, and it is uh, like working with the paste. And what I discovered was that you really cannot go more than two runs on that stencil without the edges and the lines of the stencil getting really, really blurry and not good. And so that just means this is going to take a really long time to get this done or I need to buy a second stencil and have one soaking to be the paint cleaned off and one um, clean one all the time to be working with. So let me show you up close what this looks like. So here's the first pass, looks beautiful. Lines are nice and clean and tidy, everything looks good. And then here's the second one, where you can see, if you look closely, and I know I'm a bit type A about these kind of things, but things got a little messy, so what I did is went in and scrubbed off a bit of the paint, and I'll go over it today with um, the stencil, and I might have to get some of this um, beige paint and just go in between some of the little stencil areas to clean that up, but. Yeah, it's not as crisp on the second one, so live and learn. So here's progress report. We're probably half done with the wall. What am I saying? We, I am. Ryan's not doing this. But the stencil looks beautiful. It's so pretty. But man, this paint slash stencil paste that I'm working with is making it really, really challenging. Definitely, um, you have to stop and wash and change things up, and it's definitely causing delays. But man, what a dramatic effect it has on that wall! So pretty. So, the great thing about the stencil, this manufacturer creates what they call a repeat. 
So it's really easy to line up your pattern. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if you look at the bottom of each of these, there are these little sort of leaves that look kind of random, but then once you have a section done, you can see that these little leaves actually line up and that's how you find your way onto the next stencil so that it stays straight and you can continue the pattern all the way down. So you couldn't tell that as you're looking at all of these, but now once you see this little section and these little leaves, you get how you can keep your pattern going without getting all wonky. So starting day three, a stenciling project to say that I'm not tired and not looking forward to today it would be an understatement, but got to keep rolling, got to get this done. It looks really beautiful. I'm happy, very happy with how it's come out so far, but it has been double the time solely based on the paint that I'm using. But it's the right color. We're making it work. It's going to be amazing in the end. Um, the, the look is dramatic to say the least and I love to be dramatic. Gratifying moment. God, kill me. Here's that very dramatic view now, completed. We just added some beige linens, a little bit different, smaller lamp there in the corner, but it made a very dramatic difference here in the room. I really love it. Total hours put into this, I would say about 20. Painting, touching up, um, measuring, and half of it was spent washing the stencil. So it was a lengthy project for a very dramatic wall, but I think worth every minute. For this project, I went through three cans of the redesigned chalk paste, uh, and I used the Kingdom Moss color. I don't know if I would use this paint again on a stencil this big and this intricate. It is a great paint. It's really got a very matte finish. This is a really close look. This is kind of the lid that comes inside of it. A very chalky matte finish. It sets up really hard. It's got a good texture. I think for projects or a stencil other than this, it would be a great paint. It, it was challenging for this one, to be honest. I ended up having to cut my stencil at the end, cut it into pieces so that I could fit it down into the corners just because the position and things. So a lot of times in stenciling projects, you do have to sacrifice your stencil at the very end. They do have a separate piece to go along the ceiling, which was great. But for the corners, I, I really could not manage it anymore, so I had to cut this, which is kind of sad, but by the time I got finished and I hated every minute of it, um, I was kind of glad to kill it. So that's the truth. I think stenciling is a really great alternative to wallpaper if you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on wallpaper, which wallpaper has become very expensive. Um, stenciling is much less expensive, but it does take more time. So. Um, I think it's a great alternative. I love it. I love Royal Design stencils. I'll put the link in the comments below and I'll put the link for the paint as well. It is a great paint. It just made um, stenciling with the stencil in this room a little more challenging, but I still would recommend it. So I hope you've inspired to start some projects of your own and to finish some projects of your own. I know those middle points always get a little challenging. So, Take good care, do something very unapologetically fancy this week's and a cute shot. Best wishes from the mystical, magical mansion. Mm -hmm.